Hello, my name is Cindy Morris. I'm a San Mateo, uh, San Francisco master gardener. And um, we have collaborated with the city of San Carlos to develop these beautiful gardens that you've just seen. The native garden um, is about a year old. And in conjunction with the native garden, we've also made an herb garden, which I'm here to talk to you about today. So let's go on in and take a look at the herb garden. The first thing I'd like to show you is the mint garden. The mint garden has orange mint, uh, strawberry and cream mint, um, peppermint, pineapple mint. It's got as many mints as I could put in here, chocolate mint. Uh, mint is really a wonderful herb and um, as long as you put it in a container, it's a great mint. If you put it in your garden, it could take over the place. So this was a perfect place to put it in its own little container here. Let's go on down and look at the Mediterranean garden. When we were developing the gardens, we, we wanted to make it an educational site. So we thought uh, long and hard about how we could do that. Um, so we decided to make an international garden. We have a Eastern garden, um, which includes India, um, Southwest Asia, China, all of the um, um, Eastern states, uh, countries. And, and um, of course, Mediterranean garden, which is what we use co most commonly and a Latin garden, and then a native garden. So let's talk about the Mediterranean garden, since that's what we use most of the time. I put in many different um, oreganos and herbs um, to show that there are different, a lot of different varieties that you can pick from. I've also put in a little caper plant, and I'm hoping, like anything, that it really, um, you know, takes off. I have a couple different fennels, um, I, have a, I have a sorrel over here and just a variety of different herbs, uh, some basils. Um, these herbs need six to eight hours of sun a day, a nice hardy soil, and they don't like to be overwatered. Um, they like to be watered and have it drained through. If you can accomplish that, you're doing great. Also, they're great in containers. Uh, herbs have uh, small root systems and they're great in containers, which is really nice. You can put them in a little pot by your back door as long as you have all the growing requirements. So at dinner time, you can go out and snip them and put them in your, your, your food. Um, <clears throat> I also have in the garden um, edible flowers. Uh, right now, the marigolds are blooming. I've had... Um, Nasturtians, Borge, Calendula, um, have Cosmos here, and they really add a lot of color to the garden, and they really are fun to use in your cooking. So make sure you add some to your um, to your garden. Um, <coughs> I guess that's about it for for the garden. I'm glad you could come by, and I'm glad that um, I hope you'll come down and visit us and enjoy our garden it's open all the time this herb garden is behind the library in the pocket gardens and um hope you come down and see us